John with lesson 7 on torque and this is for year 12 physics. Now the turning effect of a force is called torque and that's a symbol. So if you want to open a door and this happens when something is pivoted somewhere. It's fixed at a point so that the whole thing kind of swings. So how do you calculate torque? Torque is the force times the perpendicular distance. So that's a symbol for torque force times perpendicular distance so the unit for torque is newton meter now the conditions for equilibrium so that's for balanced torques and balanced forces so the total force up equals total force down or you say that the translational forces are balanced and also the sum of the clockwise torques equals sum of anti-clockwise torques and instead of writing out this whole thing there is a symbolic way of representing it so the sigma means total torque and you've got your clockwise and similarly your anti-clockwise torque so if there is an object that is pivoted the forces that are acting so i've just put two cats over here and um, wherever the cats are you will have your gravity force acting downwards and at the pivot if it's at the center wherever the center of this beam is if it's a uniform beam its weight force or gravity force will act downwards and a pivot or a leg or a stand will always offer a support force up now the total support force up because the forces are all balanced should be equal to the sum of all the forces downwards so that's why i've drawn this green arrow kind of longer not to measure but it should appear longer than just that it's because it's actually a sum of all these three okay and here's another one but this one is um, let's say a table or a bench with two legs whenever there's legs so the legs actually provide a support force upwards so you've got two lots of support force upwards the weight of the whole thing acts through its center of gravity so that acts through the middle and if there's a person standing here then you have the weight of the person acting downwards so Whenever there is a pivot or a leg, there will be an upward support force. The weight force of the seesaw or bench will act through its center, provided it is uniform. That means its thickness is the same the whole way through. And if the pivot is at the center, then the weight of the beam has no turning effect. Okay, the turning effect is produced only when the force acts some distance away from the center questions on rotational equilibrium so there are two types of questions question one is when there's only one pivot so here's a question on that and just uh, to figure out how do you get the clockwise and anti-clockwise torque so here is your pivot here is a weight this way and there's another weight going down so you go from the pivot go along the beam and come down in the direction of the arrow so you get your anti-clockwise this side and this one is clockwise and you can look through my working for this one there's one more question over here if you'd like to take a look to see how this is done and then i've got one over here and this is kind of a ledge um, this is a ledge and it's kind of pivoted over here at the, at the edge of this ledge and that's here and then this is uh, lesson eight with type two questions on talk so that's the one where you have your two pivots so here's just an example of that one and i think i've got one more here where the legs the supports are not at the end but it's kind of away from the ends so it's kind of done a little of that for you